Oh, you've probably seen all over the internet, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are expecting a little baby boy next month. Yes. I think it's a boy, right? Yes. Yeah, it is a boy. And in a recent blog entry, Kim expressed concern about how her two-year-old daughter, North, will handle her new baby brother. Kim wrote, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous about bringing baby number two into the mix. I'm nervous about how North will react. North even has a hard time adjusting when I hold other babies. Yeah. And I relate to that. Mine wasn't so much how Ben would react when I had the second child. I didn't know if I could bond with the second baby. I felt so attached to my first child. And it took me a while. It you, really did. I mean, not months and months, but I... And, and you feel guilty about that. Know, yeah. I, I felt the same way. It's like you don't know if you're going to... You can love the yeah, second child as much as you love the first one. And we talked about that. But one thing that I identify... You have three kids. Mm -hmm. I have two. I remember bringing that up... I know of. Uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah, you know of. <laughs> I remember bringing a present to the hospital that I said was from the second baby to my, my daughter, Hudson, saying, the baby brought you a gift, and I wanted her to feel part of this. Yes. And I did remember this. And she sort of was so excited to get this gift. And toddlers are toddlers, though. I mean, kids... Kids hit. Yeah, kids yeah. don't like babies, but they sort of, you just got to foster that love and hug That's and kiss be each other. That's got nerve-wracking because, you know, half my friends, when they had, you know, older siblings, uh, they they wanted the baby to come. They were so excited, you know, to have a little brother or sister. And then the other half, they were just jealous. They did yeah. not want that baby to come. So I can see how this could be very nerve-wracking. Well, we all have mom. siblings, so we all know how that goes. Or you yeah. don't have a sibling. Well, no, I have, I have half-sisters. I, yeah. I didn't grow up with um, my half-sisters that much, but we have love and stuff like that. I think the biggest issue for them is... You know, Little North, he's everywhere with them. She goes to fashion shows. You know, I think if they have a third baby, they may adopt me. So I, <laughs> well, I want to go there. Two is a different ballgame. Yeah. It's man on man. Mommy, well, mommy. they're going to find out in December because that's when the baby's coming. So good for them. Yeah. Yes. The best, yeah. In just a bit, I'm talking to Food Network star Giada De Laurentiis. She's one of just a few women who runs a restaurant in Las Vegas. She's done very well, uh, and under a lot of pressure, I'm going to ask her about that. But speaking of Vegas, it was just announced that Oscar winner Sandra Bullock is set to star in an all-female reboot of Ocean's Eleven. The series are going to make it with all women this time. And Sandra, they say, will have the George Clooney role. Right. But who else would you like to see in that film? Uh, well, number one, I want to see myself in there. Yeah. Some shenanigans. I've watched yeah. everything. But I love playing the casting game. I think yeah. I'd be a great casting director. So I made a list here Jennifer Aniston, oh, Mila Kunis, Anna Ferris, Melissa McCarthy, Octavia Spencer, Carrie Washington, Meryl Streep, Drew Barrymore, Lucy Liu, and Melissa Peterman. Oh, okay, wait, yeah, you know, that's, that's really good. That's, my but list. that's a good list. That's buddy. a fantastic list. You forgot to put a Latina on that list. Oh, who would you put as Latina? Yes. So I am going to vote for Jane the Virgin, Gina Rodriguez. Oh. I think she would make an incredible. And to Ocean's like Ever, that. including women. Let's add a lot of diversity. I want Helen well Mirren. Helen Mirren. Helen Mirren. Age Mirren. diversity. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. She'd be great as a Brad Pitt character, then. Yeah. Like, yeah. take yeah. over but that you know role. they're going to go with Sofia Vergara. Yeah. Uh, I would, you know well, they're going to yeah. choose her if they're yeah. going to go to like that. Some people <laughs> said, why not just make from? a movie of, with fresh ideas that has an all-female cast? Why do you have to take yeah. and reboot these male versions? I love the remake. Well, here, I... Ocean's Eleven was all about women in the first place because men don't sit around plotting and planning like that. I've done that all the time with my ex-boyfriends. I get 11 girlfriends around me. I go, girl, let's trip him up in Vegas. That's what we do. <laughs> I'm like, it's different, though. Like, a remake is hard to do. I yeah. mean, especially if you're, like, the class... Well, Ocean's Eleven is a remake from the Frank Sinatra exactly. one. So it's another remake. the same thing with Ghostbusters now, too. So we'll new. see. Right, exactly. Bit. All right, before we go to break, you may be familiar with that fashion look. You see when your plumber comes to fix underneath the kitchen sink <laughs> and reveals a little more than you bargained for? Yeah, I'm talking about plumber's crack. <laughs> well, in France, they call it plumber's smile. And now a Frenchman has... So, like so French. A Frenchman has invented a solution. Take a look at these. Okay, these are these boxer shorts. They have a big band up at the top so that you cannot look in. Yeah. I like so the I think illustration. But, I like about $20. But, who, but who's standing around really looking at the plumber I as they're fixing it? They look at the crack. You can't miss what? them yes, sometimes. This is for every day. I've seen a lot of plumbers crack not on plumbers yeah, around, right. like, the neighborhood. I think I've sport. I mean, I appreciate a little coverage of the have, crackage. I have high crack, so I need these for yeah, sure. High I, crack. I have high crack. crack. My butt. I got a big old butt. And they're making yeah. them for women, too, by the way. So, and there you go. Equal opportunist. I'm going to go in and buy that. I want the plumber I smile. Because I, I always got my pants and spanks and everything to the world. I want something to lift up on my back, too. Yeah.